a young man who is breaking ground with a revolutionary idea. Our next guest is On the Arise, part of our new segment here. Everyone loves a pair of new sneakers. Depending on where you're from, you can buy Michael Jordan and Kanye West, just two of the many celebrities who've cashed in on the world's obsession with fresh kicks. While luxury brands may have made high-end sneakers to line their shelves, Chase Reed found a novel way to line his store with luxury shoes with the profits going right into his pockets. Chase is the founder and owner of Sneaker Pawn, the world's first sneaker pawn shop. Welcome to Rise Exchange. I'm, you know, I understand school is over now for the summer, right? Yes. So you had a little time to come over here and talk with us. Yes. I appreciate it. Uh, you've been getting a lot of press on this. It's a super cool idea. Tell us a little bit about what the business is. Well, basically, you can come into the store, and it's a, it's a sneaker environment, so it's a society where anybody can come from any age, any race, everything. So you can come in, and you can basically come in, you can customize your sneakers, refurbish, you know, we buy, sell, and most of all, we come in, and, you, you know, you get to pawn your sneakers. So basically, with the pawning, you have 90 days, and each month, you just pay a $20 storage fee. And usually, when you want to pawn your sneakers, it's for somebody that wants to keep their sneakers, however, just needs the money for them. And what's makes this work is sneakers are hundreds and hundreds of dollars these yes. days, right? You know, tell us a little bit about the different kind of sneakers and how much they can go for. Well, the sneakers, like, the sneakers basically go for above $200, you know, because most of them are retail at $180. So most of the sneakers in the store would, of course, be at $200 and above being that we're a secondary store. And it's just millions of people that would pay that price, you yeah, know, because the sneakers really. are so rare. Yeah, the sneakers are rare, and it's so unique. I remember when Michael Jordan came out with sneakers, I think that was the first one that sort of broke through the $200 yeah. dollar mark. I, I think Michael Jordan actually created the sneaker game. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's, Nike's definitely building off of it right now. So when people come in and pawn their sneakers, what do they wear out? <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, you know, they, they wear their, you know, they usually come in, you know, upon their best and, you know, they walk out and, you know, hoping like that they have the money to come back for it. And most 90% of people come back. Come for back. Sneakers. And then if they don't come back, you get to turn around and sell them. Yes. Uh, and I understand you had quite the sneaker collection yourself and yes. your, your folks kind of gave you an option of what you can do with them, right? Yes. So basically my father... You know, he, I had a big sneaker collection. I was actually spoiled for a minute, and then I started reselling sneakers on my own. And, you know, it was basically like, it was basically like, well, would you like to open up a store, or would you just like to have a sneak collection and be a regular sneakerhead? And, of course, I gave up my whole collection just so I can chase my dream in sneakers. Uh, did you want to always open up a store, or did you find yourself entrepreneur? Well, whether it was clothes, you know, because I designed my own clothes, so whether it was clothes or whether it was sneakers, I just had a passion for both. So it was like, well, why not just open up one big store? So you're in school, obviously, yes. uh, and that's your primary focus. How do you run the store and also go to school? Well, of course, you know, you go to school first. School comes before, and like in my you house. You talk the right yeah. things to say. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, definitely. My mom and my father, school comes first. So, of mm -hmm. course, you go to school, and then right after school, you know, it, if there's any extra help, you stay for that. But then after that, come to the store and, uh, and work. Tell us a little bit about your parents' involvement in this, because obviously you couldn't really do this without yeah. them. They must be very supportive. Definitely. Well, I have my father. He's in like he's my mentor every day. So he's there, making sure I'm there and I'm on my business and on my job. And then of course, I have my mom. She's basically like my manager, and she motivates me and she pushes me to make sure that I'm on track. And how difficult was it to open the store? And, and did you have to get permits or anything? Did you know? Did how did you you know pay the rent? How did you get all that done? Well, of course, I have my father. So my father would pay the rent, but. Most of the most of the, like most of the work came from having the money from the sneaker collection, and then of course we had the store for almost a year and a few extra months. So it definitely was a struggle getting it open. A lot of people didn't see the vision of opening up a sneaker pond. So when it actually did open, we were surprised that the public, you know, reacted as well mm -hmm. as they did. And it's like it's been booming so lately. Like people come before hours and after hours. So that's definitely a good response. And it's becoming so big that we actually need a, another investor. Like it, the sneaker market and definitely the store is definitely blowing up. Right okay, so, so what's next for you? You're, you have the sneaker pawn shop going, but what's next with the store and maybe with your future? <laughs> well, of course, I would like to graduate from high school first and go on to graduate from college. You go to Frederick Douglass Academy? Yes. And of course, I want to gra graduate and go to college and graduate from college. But most of all, you know, definitely I would like to open up and franchise to other states and other countries. 
So that, that's probably the, a big goal right now. Okay, Chase, Chase Reed, the founder of Sneaker Pawn. Where is it located, located by the way? On 200 West 120, 120th Street and Lenox Avenue. Okay, Chase, thank you so much. Thank Thanks you. for stopping by. And by the way, we have uh, some of them there that we could maybe take a look at yes. as we talk about. Um, you know, just point out a couple there that, that are like hot numbers. We have about 20 seconds left. Well, of course, we have the Jordan 7s. These are the original Olympic sneaker. Mm -hmm. So you have those, and then you have the Beijing 6s from it's a tribute sneaker to when he played in the Olympics also. And then you have the cigars based on his championship. And you know, you have the crown, the crown jewel LeBrons, and those are the most expensive sneakers. Those we are have the ones going, those are the most expensive yes. right now. Okay. Chase, Chase Reed, thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for watching the Rise Exchange. See you tomorrow on Andrew Marks.